Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. This is Todd with Industrial Comfort. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wire up your Powermatic 3520C lathe. Now this thing comes shipped from the factory without the power cord installed. It does come with a cord, but it doesn't come with any fittings that you're going to need to get this thing to work. So let me show you what you're going to need and how to get it done. Here. At the back of the machine here, we have a rotary switch that powers the lathe. Now, I'm just going to remove these uh, Phillips head screws in the back. I've already taken the other three out. And this is going to expose the rotary switch. Now, the, the supplied wire that they gave us all have the same ends on either end. So what I'm going to do is use the gland on the side here. I'm just going to remove the gland cap. I'm going to slide the wires through the cap here. And then I'm going to slide through the gland. I'm going to put the cap back in place. I'm not going to put it uh, too firmly in place as I want to be able to pull the cord in and out. Now, the two extra ports on this rotary switch are where we're going to be putting our leads. Now, the polarity doesn't matter here. I'm just going to use the two extra slots. And you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver to make the connections here. So. I'll put one in this side. Hopefully you can see this. And then I'm going to put uh, the other one on this side. Okay, so those are now in place. Now you'll notice that there is a ground wire here in the back. Now this ground wire is mounted to a ground plate and I'm just gonna remove the screw as we don't really need this cable as the supplied ground wire already has an attachment that we can use to just mount directly to that plate using the supplied screw here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wire back and I'm gonna screw the ground to that plate. And I'm gonna take up the slack here as we put the cover back in place. I'm gonna tighten the uh, nut here on this gland to make sure that it secures the cable and then I'm just going to put the four Phillips head screws back in place tighten everything up and then I'll show you how we're going to handle the other end of the power cable Now the lathe does not ship with a cord that has any male connector on it. And the reason for this is that people are gonna have different preferences for what style female connectors they're gonna use. So I chose this one, you can choose whichever one you'd like as long as it's rated for at least 20 amps and 240 volts. Now as I mentioned before, the ends of the cable are identical on both ends. Now these are very easy to put together and I'll show you how to do it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is remove the, or at least loosen the three Phillips head screws on the front of this male connector here. And that's gonna allow me to pull this plate off to expose the electrical connections. Now, I'm then gonna loosen up, actually I don't have to do much loosening here, but this is where the <laughs> cord is gonna feed in through the back. And then what I'm going to do is connect the ends here. And again, you don't have to worry about the polarity. Okay. 
I'm just going to tighten those. Just remember that your ground is going to be this sort of semi-cylindrical one in the middle. Okay. Now this connection, I don't have the ability, at least that I can see, of being able to remove this to screw this in. So I'm going to clip this. I'm going to feed this through. And this is going to connect our ground. Okay. Now I'm just going to feed everything back in here. And there's a a noticeable notch here you can see here and this is going to be where uh, we line things up here so I'm just going to rotate this until the slot actually I don't have a lot of uh, I'm going to kind of twist rotate this down as so I'm not going to have a lot of room you can see here the the end of the plug ends right about there. So I'm going to actually tighten this up first. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate this down and line up, where is it, this with this. might get us our outcome. Yep. Alright, so that was a bit of a tight fit, but that'll essentially allow us to button everything up. And now we should be good to go to plug this thing in and get it working. And there we go, we've got a working lathe. As you can see, getting this Powermatic 3520C wired up was pretty painless. Just remember, make sure you get the right hardware rated at least 20 amps and 240 volts. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.